Ice hockey. Um, actually, should I play a full game of this? We'll see, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, can't play this in the UK, which kind of makes sense, I suppose. So let's go with... Let's go with so Sweden. Sweden versus USA. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's go shortest time. And I want two fat guys on the team. Because the fat guys are the best. Apparently. Uh, yeah, apparently KFC's managed to <laughs> made to make it over to Stockholm. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, what the, no, I want to play as that guy. But it wouldn't let me. Okay. Come, come at me, bro. Yeah, nice try. Uh, which button is it? There we go. Uh, a button. Seems to work. Ooh. Oh, well, I'm thinner than you, so I'm just gonna like, crash into like a twat. Oh, I do kind of wish I was playing as one of the regular Souls guys right now, just so I don't have to run around like this. Oh, I don't miss that. <laughs> that was terrible. No, what the hell's going on? Okay, nice try. No, stop getting the, stop getting the rebounds. Get the frig, get the friggin' puck. Yeah, I'm just playing. Yeah, my strategy in this is just to play as the goalie whenever I don't have the puck because it's just easier to defend that way. I think. Because you know, if, if you got a super goalie, you don't have to worry so much about being good defense. Oh. Oh, you're not scoring from that, mate. No. Fuck you. Okay, oh. I keep getting to the A button to pass, not not the B button. But I guess it's the B button in this case. In the case of this game. Put the purse! Put the purse! <laughs> Anyone play? Yeah. If you remember, played Steel. <laughs> he just kept doing that every two seconds. And what the fuck is it with my defense? Yeah, yeah, the goalkeeper's got the puck, let's go all the way to the other side of the pitch, so... Because we know he's gonna be able to, like, get all the way to the other end, because we're twats. Okay, actually not, sorry, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hold down the, uh, toe button to get the puck this time around. Double, oh... And of course, as soon, of course it rebounds into the other player. Uh... What the fuck? What the Yeah, nice try, bitch. Yeah, of course he tries to like chase after me because it's a twat. Okay, and I was mashing the buttons out like crazy. That was ridiculous. Uh, and of course, oh no, I'm just gonna knock you down because I'm a twat. Okay, how is that not a goal? Okay, that was, okay, that should have bounced off the friggin' post and gone in. So it works in football, at least. I mean, I also don't claim to be a pro in ice hockey or anything. I mean, I, I haven't really had the chance to watch it, though, because they don't show it on TV over here, and it's really annoying. Because, like, <laughs> it's one of the few sports I have any interest in watching, to be honest. Because I remember I, like, I watched it when they had, like, you know, the Winter Olympics. Yes! There we go. Nice little equalizer there. For the sweariger. Actually, I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it. I know it's... it's not, I'm sure the B is pronounced like a W, isn't it? So I think it's the B button you got to mash? No, because that didn't work. Ooh. Okay, and that's the end of the... Is it the quarter? I think they call it. Even though there's like three periods, unless the game is in a toy. I don't really know what that's about. But whatever. Let's try to mash the... Let's try to match the A button this time around. No, it still didn't work. Maybe it's just the AI just wins it unless you use the turbo controller because the bullshit like that. <laughs> Ooh, got the power shot, but it didn't really work. Oh, what the fuck was I doing there? Of course, you can't skip this like goal thing. At least, it, at least it's not like you know PS One. Sports games where it's like every single time someone scores, they have to have like a replay. Just fucking bullshit. Because, you know, it's like unless you scored it, you don't want to see that crap. Okay, and you're not scoring from that. Yeah, I'm so not going to claim any good at this. Yeah, 
No, give me the stupid... Give me the puck. I'd like to have the puck sometime today, thank you. Okay. And I don't get... Well, actually, <laughs> I was going to ask, why is Sweden in yellow? And now I realise, yeah, that does kind of make sense. I don't know if they normally play in yellow. I, don't, I can't remember. Because... Who won the World Cups? Was it, was it Canada? Or was it Finland? I don't remember, but yeah, I'm losing a bit badly. So let's just... Let's just quit and go into 1942. A shooter. A classic shooter. Which kind of sucks on the NES. Uh, well, it doesn't... Well, okay, it doesn't outwardly suck. But this is like another, like, Micronics job. So, again, very ropey compared to, well, basically any other version of this game. Okay, like, you can play the ZX Spectrum version and it's way better than this. <laughs> I mean, I, you know. I mean, the, the graphics are alright. I mean, just listen to the music. Seriously, just listen to it. I mean, abysmal. I mean, uh, I mean, at least make it try to sound like a whistle. Okay, I know that's possible with the NES hardware. Okay, the NES wasn't that limited. This isn't... Okay, what is this? Like, Atari? Okay, I don't think so. Okay, Atari couldn't do this. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not to insult the Atari. I do like the Atari 2600. I like Atari 2600 games. Even though I don't have that many of them, I have like, I don't know, maybe barely over a dozen. But, uh, yeah. But let's just... I'm not sure what to do. I think I'm probably just going to do, like, the rest of the page. Like, this page. And then I'm just going to wrap it up. At least for this part. I might come back to this, like, after I'm done with the page. Yeah, I'll come back to this later and do the rest of the games, but... Oh no. I'll just do the first 40 games for now at least, but uh, well, there isn't really anything more to show with this game because there's just not much to say about it. Now we have Double Strike. <laughs> the best total screen of all time. I mean, seriously, what the hell is up with the hand? Ooh, I don't even want to look into that. But uh, it's so cold in the deep. <laughs> but this is. This kind of reminds me of. Um, I kind of just Silkworm, actually. She got, like, the missiles and stuff. I do like... I like the graphics. The graphics are pretty good. I mean, yeah, you got the nice little parallax effect. Although it's kind of annoying, is like, the graphics at the bottom kind of... Okay, I should have died there, but I didn't for some reason. But, I mean... Oh, yeah, so I was... I was wondering what that last pill did. It just made me invincible, I think. So I know you can collect, like, different guns that... But from what I remember, they're not really that good, because you can only fire a couple of them on screen one time. It kind of defeats the purpose of even getting the upgrades in the first place. And I also seem to remember that this level goes on for, like, it goes on forever. Like, it does eventually end, and then you find, like, an air, airplane or something. Like, a giant airship or something. I, I can't remember. But I do remember there being something like that in this. And I keep collecting Ds, and I think the Ds are, like, the missiles, if I remember correctly. So I'm just going to wait for these things to pass... Keep waiting for them to pass. Okay, so, as you can see, now I've got, like, a double shot thing. But it's not as good, because you can only shoot, like, a few bolts on screen at once. So now we have to fight this thing. Okay, there we go. I'll beat it. And then, of course, immediately another one spawns out of nowhere. That's just great. So, yeah, yeah sod you. And then, of course, I die because the enemy decided to fire, because it's a twat. Okay, and I shouldn't have died from that. That's... I like how sometimes, like, you fly into a bullet and you don't die, and then other times, like, a bullet kills you from, like, two miles away. I don't really get that. Now I've got the D again. Got all these... I mean, they're supposed to be missiles? Or bombs, I guess? I mean... <laughs> if so, why are they pink, and why do they look like just balls? It doesn't make any sense. Why do all the pale things spawn at the bottom? Yeah, let's spawn it where it, like, blinds into the background, because, like, the background gets in the way. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this game is... It's kind of boring, to be honest. The, the problem with this game... 
well, I think the problem with Nathan is just the levels take like 57 hours to be. And like the level, le the level never changes up or anything, so it's like you just like after the first minute, you just want the level to end and just move on to like something else. And there is a boss in this, so I do want to see. Yeah, I've got plenty of lives left. I want to see if I can at least get to the boss because they do. Because they are in this game. I know 1942 has bosses, but you have to get through like six levels to get to it, and I don't feel like doing that because it take way too long. The game in general just takes way too long, because you have to play like 32 levels of that. And it's like, it's just the same thing throughout the whole game. You know, it's like after a few levels, it's, it kind of gets old for me, 1942. At least, the NES version does anyway. And, of course, we have to spawn another one of these things, because, you know, it's great not actually being able to, like, get anywhere. I keep spawning these stupid weapons. So, here's a bit, sob this guy. I'm just going to go up his arse, and then, oh, of course... Uh, what what is up with this game design? Yeah, you kill this really annoying enemy. Let's just spawn another one immediately. And yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I love this transition, by the way. Just it just big like white screen. So let's try to destroy this thing. This runs in 1943 actually. This part, except it's like horizontal scroll instead of vertical. Yeah, I say 1943. It's a different game. Like same series as 1942, but you know it's a lot better. <laughs> And boss is day one. Why is with that glitchy stuff on the top? I don't really get that. But there we go. Uh, round two, and it's the same thing. Except it looks a lot uglier than the first level. Actually, you no. Know, I seem to remember when the under like Nazi castles in this game. Like you, I think it's like you you get to like the end of the third level and you have to fight like a castle with a Nazi symbol on it. It's weird. I mean, I seem to remember seeing that. So. But we're just going to move on because there's not much more to say about that game. But then we have Miss Patman, which is a classic. I got this on the Mega Drive actually, and that version's really good. This is kind of similar to it, but it's not quite as good. But, you know, what do you expect? Just to have the Pat Booster optional. Uh, yeah, normal, easy, hard, or crazy. Yeah, it's like Nos Barkley up in here. Uh, but then we got all these different levels that we can pick, which is pretty awesome. I like that. But it's a start. There's like various two play modes as well. This is like, because this is actually a really good version of the game. Because they basically, like, they took the original game and updated it. Like, they added a load of, you know, features and stuff. And actually, what's funny is, like, recently I've been playing sort of Pat, uh, this Pat Man Maze Madness on, on PS1. So let's use the Pat Booster, because I'm a cheating bitch. Well, I'm not really cheating, I mean, they put it in the game, so. Okay, so we can see if I can catch all these ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghost! <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I died again because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Not really much more to say. It's Miss Pat Man. I had to play the regular one, so sod it. Uh, Bomb Man. Yeah, the original one. Probably the worst one, in all honesty. Or, well, one of the worst ones, because it's just. Because, yeah, the thing about Bomb Man is the multiplayer mode. Yeah, the multiplayer mode is pretty much makes the game. And this game doesn't have multiplayer. So it's like... So this is all you do in the entire game. Just go through these levels and that's it. And I'm not necessarily saying this is like... The gameplay on the same is bad in a single player mode. But it's just... Yeah, you know, at the same time, I'd much rather just play, you know... I'd much rather just play one of the Bombers came out after this. You know, Bomberman World, Super Bomberman, Bomberman 64... I mean, even Bomb Man 2, which was also, like, a NES game. Okay, that game is, you know, had, like, multiplayer. And that came out... Well, to be fair, that did come out, like, several years after this, but still. So I can blow up this stupid blue one. There we go. And then this one's trying to kill me because it's a git. Yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to B-level this because it's slow... I mean, it's not bad, but, you know, it's just... Yeah, when the, when there's much better, you know, alternatives from the same series, it's kind of really pointless to play this in all honesty. What's funny, though, is, like, I beat Bomb Man on the PS1, um, which, basically, it plays very similar to this, but the change of the graphics every 10 levels and the music sort of updated and stuff. You know, it's basically just... It's, a, it's an improved version of this. That's the sure it is. 
So, we got Kills Balloon. They kill a balloon. That's weird. And again, it's Japan for you, I suppose. Um, yeah, there we go. So, now we get. Yeah, you can also find a power, but I'm not going to bother because. It's so, all like, I'm going to try to beat this now anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Yeah. And, as you can see, it's just, yeah, stage 2 is just stage 1 with different enemies, pretty much. And the levels are random, I should point out, so, yeah. Let's just move on to uh, the clay shoot. Which is basically, like, if you remember the Duck Hunt game from earlier, they basically just took the clay shoot mode from that and just separated it into its own game, which is just bullshit. But... Obviously, I can't play it because it's a Logan game, so let's just skip it anyway. So now we have Burger Time. And this is Burger Time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take a genius to work that one out. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, if I was a genius, I probably wouldn't be playing this right now, but whatever. I've kind of proven that I'm not on several occasions already in this LP series. So here's my... Fuck you, you stupid sausage. Yeah. Because I am the king of the burger. Yeah, so I'm not going to get sued for that one. <laughs> See if I can build some burgers. I mean, uh, <laughs> imagine if being a chef was like this. I mean, it'd be crazy. So as I sod all these stupid sausages trying to kill me. Oh, well... You, are, you don't make hot dogs anymore? Yeah, we're gonna try to kill you because we're twats. And why is there an egg chasing me? <laughs> I don't get this. Actually, no, is it even an egg? I have no idea. This doesn't make any sense. The game means an early arcade game. It doesn't really have to make any sense. But let's just finish up this level. And there we go. Uh, level 1 complete. And it's just the same thing over and over again, except they change the level design, as you can clearly see. So we're just going to move on to, to duck eggs. So apparently we've got ducks and eggs in this. Uh, no, apparently it's just duck. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember this. Because this is actually a complete rip-off of Penguin Land for the, uh, the Master System, I think it was. And they basically just took that game and ripped it off. And this is like, this is another like unlicensed game that's on here. Uh, it wasn't made for this console, it's just one that just, you know, wasn't licensed or anything, so. Kind of interesting, really. Ooh. Now you got this dog that, like, if the dog gets the egg, he'll break it. Actually, I should point out the rules for this. Basically, what you have to do in this game is you have to get the egg to the bottom of the level. Um, you also notice that line. That line represents how far the egg can fall before it breaks. So, the egg can fall down to this. Um, and I just remember what I need to do here. So, we're going to move that. And then we're going to move... And we're going to move this block. Thankfully, this duck can jump pretty high. And it could also jump backwards, which is a pretty useful skill to have, generally. Maybe we can get some casting balls in the Matrix after he's done with this. Oh wait, of course not, because uh, no one cares about the Matrix anymore, because they <laughs> they burned themselves into the ground after the first film. Or, you know, they ran it into the ground, because, you know, the sequels sucked. I don't care, okay, I don't care what anyone says, the sequels did suck. Okay, I'm so not going to hear any, any arguments against that. Let me get that heart. I have no idea what the heart does, other than give you points. But I'm pretty sure that's all it does. And I think I have to know what to do here. So I got, I got move. I do want to see if I can beat the first level of this because I have done it before. So you know, let me, yeah. Doesn't entirely work properly. The uh, stuff in this game. I have no idea what that was that appeared on like the left. That was kind of weird. So put the egg down there because otherwise, it, you know, if the if the rock was in there, it would break. And if Stone Cold Steve Austin was there. Then it'll be kind of boring. The way the game is kind of boring anyway. So let's crush this dog because I am a cruel bastard. Okay, so now we move the egg. And that dog cannot get me. Actually, no, I think I just. I 
thing. Because <laughs> I was just about to mess up there, actually. But I've nearly beaten the level. And all I need to do is not mess up this last bit. Uh, no, I, can't, I don't think I can move that block. Let's move that out of the way. Because I think I know what to do here. First off, we've got to collect... Well, we've got to collect the heart for no reason whatsoever. And then... I should be able to get the egg from where I am, aren't I? Actually, no, bugger. I just realised... Uh, I, need to, I need to move the block day one. So let me... Let me... It's kind of glitchy, this game. It's, you know... It is what it is. Uh, it works. So, no need to... No need to dig and dig and dig. I'm the person Jew. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm going... Oh, wait, you can do that? I was not aware of that. But yeah, you can kind of tell I'm getting kind of bored of this game by this point. <laughs> and this is only level one. But if we move the egg down to the bottom, we actually beat the level. That's what happens here. It breaks and there's like a kid or something. You got that living room, by the way. <laughs> I got those 5,000 points. Actually, what is that Peyton even supposed to be? I mean, it looks like... Yeah, that Peyton with all the blocks on it, but I can't remember what it was called. Mondrian, I think. I don't remember. But yeah, there's just the same thing over and over again, except the level sign is different, and the rocks are green for some reason. But we still got a few games left, so now we've got Mag Max. Which uh, isn't really that good from what I remember. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's alright, but it's kind of... I don't know. It, it kind of gets boring after a couple of minutes, in, in all honesty. That's just what I think, anyway. I mean, feel free to disagree with me if you want. Um, there's probably a small cult following out there for this game. I don't know. But... I don't know. I just I don't really find this game to be interesting at all. It's just... And... Of course, I get distracted by some noises outside, like someone trying to like hammer something. I don't really know. It's probably my dad actually doing DIY. I don't really know. But if we go down here, of course, it's not even lame again. Any the like the parts that you used to upgrade your shit because the game's being git. Okay, where is the upgradable parts? Or where are the upgradable parts? Right. Okay, here's one. So now I have the legs, which gives you a couple of extra bullets. Okay, I mean, I'd, I'd love to see, like, a robot that shoots stuff out of his legs. I mean, that's just... That's, that's just brilliant. Nope. Why can't I pick this up? What the hell's going on? Can't only pick it up when I'm up here. I don't know. Just... It wasn't letting me pick it up for some reason, even though I was running over it. It's not like you have to press a button to do anything. You just, like, run into it and it works. And you got these stupid... I don't even know what they're supposed to be. They're like frisbees with flags on them. I have no idea. They better get out of my face, wherever they are. Well, what the hell? Okay, I don't remember that. <laughs> so now we've got... So now we've got screws appearing out of the ground. The hell's going on? Where the hell are the power-ups? Okay, I remember there being more power-ups in this last time I played it. Oh, here's one. Here's another one. See, let's pick it up there, and of course it forces me to go down here, that's just brilliant. Oh well, I might as well play this for a bit until I take some damage, I guess. Well, like I said, I mean, there's, there's not much to say about this game. It's just, it's a generic shooter. You can, like, upgrade your robot, and that's pretty much, like, the only thing of interest. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not bad. But, you know, I, there's just so many better games on the... Ooh, stalactites. Great. But, uh... Yeah, there's so many bad games on the NES, really, that I don't really care to play this. And yeah, I think that is the same thing as the thing that I've got, so whatever. Let's get to 10,000 points, then we'll call it quits. Like a paper boy would do. But there we go. Um, now we have the new type. <clears throat> yeah. And this game is like... Yeah, this is like a shooter, but it's kind of weird. Because you play this, like, cave boy or something. And you have to, like, uh... Yeah, you see I'm throwing fireballs. I mean, this is, like, 
maybe this is like Ryu's like ancestor, who knows. Well, I guess not, because he's known throwing hammers. <laughs> maybe he's a West Ham supporter, who knows. I don't think they were around back then, though. Or, yeah, when this game takes place. I want to see if I can hold... I think the thing that really annoys me about this game, though, which you'll probably see in a bit, is every time you get hit, your weapon gets downgraded. Why does the game do that? Okay, so I haven't... Okay, it hasn't happened so far. But it's like, if I was to get hit now, I would be down back to that, you know, that weapon I had to start the fireballs. See, now I'm back to using the hammers because the game's bullshit. I don't get why games do this, where it's like, oh, you get hit, so you lose your weapon. Okay, like, if it, like, if you die, it makes sense. But if you just get hit once, it, you know, when you don't die, that's just bullshit, as well, I'm concerned. That's something that really, like, kind of puts me off this game. It's just that. And I remember the platform in this is hard as well. This is the other thing that kind of put me off, because, see so if I can make it? Okay, I did. But it's kind of hard to do. It's, okay, so now I've got, like, the best weapon, I think. So you can just hold down the button for this. Which is pretty awesome, and I think, from this point, if I collect one of these weapons, it just kills- Yeah, it kills all the enemies, which is pretty nice. There's a lot of good- there's a lot of good things about this game, it's just, you know, it's- Losing weapons where you hit just really annoys me. Oh, if you give me one hit, or let me keep my weapon until I die. I mean, you know, that's what most games do. So, why does this game have to be different? <laughs> I'm just saying. I do want to see if I can beat this first level, though. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, how am I supposed to avoid that? Okay, explain that to me, Hudson Soft. So I guarantee you can't. Okay. And yeah, I was just mashing the turbo button there. Because I'm a cheating bastard. <laughs> yeah. I'll admit it. I mean, I can at least own up to when I'm being git. Which is most of the time. Okay, what's the star do? I want to check that. Okay, it kills all the enemies, so... Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of pointless when you've already got this one. And apparently I'm moving too slow to even try to platform properly right here. Okay, what the... Okay, how do I jump that far? Okay, like, oh, you move like the speed of molasses. But you can jump higher than friggin', the friggin' Michael Jordan. Okay, that really makes sense. Okay. And this guy should go into it. Go into NBA. But it's like, yeah, it's just, this is the problem, like, why would you have, like, platform in this? It's just, it's awkward, because it's like, your character moves with the screen. So it's like, unless you have to, like, you have to keep, like, fidgeting around constantly, otherwise you'll, like, fall off the platform by himself, and it's annoying. So I made it. Um, I'm just gonna, when I die again, I'm just gonna quit, because I don't know if I'm gonna beat the stage at this point. It's good for there's no enemies on this part. Otherwise, it'd just be impossible. Okay, so I'll meet it. Oh, I love that. Invisible wall at the top of the screen doesn't let me go into the lily pad because it's a twat. That's just, that's brilliant. So, sob that. Let's just move on to the last game I'm going to be looking at, at least for now, anyway. Sky Destroyer. And this one's just kind of meh. I don't really care for this one. I don't know if I've ever played this for more than like 10 minutes, because it's like, it's just boring, I, I I think. It's like, it's not really a hard game or anything. It's just like, I mean, this is it. You shoot down planes, every now and then like a red plane appears, and you have to shoot that day one. And that's it. That's like the entire game right there. I just described the entire thing. I think at the end you have to like blow up an island or something, but I never even bothered to get to that point, because the game's so friggin' boring. So, I mean, look at this. And it's, I swear, like, half time it's a matter of luck when you hit the enemy or not. Because it's based on, like, where the enemies spawn, pretty much. So, I'm most likely going to die at this point. Because you have to go all out defensive on this. And I died, so fuck it. Um, and I will just quickly show off the other games on this. I mean, if anyone partic really particularly wants to play... Or if, I can't even talk now. If anyone really wants me to particularly play any of these games, then just tell me in the comments, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I may do another part in the future where I play some of the games. But anyway, but anyway, I will see you later, people. See you.